We founded Quant three years ago with a vision to revolutionize the quality, how machines analyze their environment, how people notice information and the way humans think. We realize our vision by developing novel sensors and computing chips. On a fundamental level, all of our product developments follow the same logic. We first convert electrons in the form of steering signals or plane currents to light. This is what we call the electron to photon conversion stage. In the second stage, we generate quantum states like entanglement or superposition and let those states interact either with each other or with their environment. This is what we call the quantum control stage. And in the third stage, we reconvert the photons back to electrons and ultimately to data, which is then appreciated by our customers. This is what we call the photon to electron conversion stage. Based on this expertise, we follow up on four product developments. Particle sensing, magnetic sensing, atomic gyroscopes and photonic quantum computing. Our photonic approach to particle sensing means that we sample light in multiple dimensions simultaneously with very high frequency. This allows us to pin down particle size distribution, speed and direction. Even particle shape can be determined. We see a strong interest in the chemical industry and biotech. In the chemical industry, particle size and the detection of particle buildup is a key quality metric. Additionally, we have found out that our sensor works well with organisms like bacteria. Our in-process measurement reduces the time from sensing to acting on the measurement to almost zero. This allows for increased process control, which results in higher yields and better quality of products. We are developing diamond-based quantum sensors, which will serve as magnetometers. And our goal at Quant is to improve them and employ them to create a new form of interface between humans and the digital world. In our first project, we want to improve the active control of prosthesis. Our approach does not rely on direct skin contact and thus doesn't suffer from sweat on the skin and doesn't cause skin irritations. Additionally, we have a higher spatial resolution, which allows for a more precise control. Gyroscopes based on quantum technology are very small, very stable and have way less drift compared to traditional approaches. They can be placed exactly at the center of mass of the object. Our first application will be satellite control. The new gyroscope brings stability to satellites, especially to small satellites like the CubeSats. This will enable direct optical communication between satellites in orbit, and that will enable the quantum internet. For photonic quantum computing, we need different building blocks. The first one would be entangled photon sources, then waveguides to let the photons propagate between the gates, which run the operations, and then the detection. At Quant, we have found the optimal material combination that enables the integration of low loss photonic components together with its control electronics onto a single chip. We need quantum computing because despite the supercomputing standards that we already have today, there are still a lot of problems that we cannot solve. And such problems would be, for example, real-time optimization in transportation networks or chemical simulations for truck research. The photonic platform offers several advantages. For example, photons are quite robust, so we can operate at room temperature. Photons offer high mobility, so we can have a high interconnectivity between different qubits. And for scalability, we can rely on the existing microfabrication techniques. We are standing at the beginning of a new technological era, which will make significant contribution to our daily life. I personally compare this to the beginning of a long journey, where we today cannot foresee to which fascinating places the journey will lead us. And we at Quant are super happy to be part of that journey. <laughs>